So I'm here at Selling today. It's the start of a big walk around Bleen Woodlands. South Bleen Woods Nature Reserve. So less than a mile from Selling Station through orchards and I've approached the beginning of the woods. That's where I am. Not quite sure which one of these footpaths I'll be taking. But this walk can circular for 25 miles. Today I'll probably do about half of that. Marked on Ordnance Survey as a sawmill. Seems to be disused now. Um, my, my walk past was uh, greeted by plenty of dogs which have finally shut up. Look at the state of that. Alternative route, I think it'll be this way then. First person that's taken that little detour around that little cattle crossroads. I shall take this footpath, which will go right around the edge of that field. Long way round, but I've only got walking shoes on today, and I don't fancy being losing a shoe in the mud. Amazing viewpoint from here. You can actually see out to sea. I shall try zooming in. I assume that's the Isle of Sheppey. mad disturbed a few pheasants in the last couple hundred yards there was a 
tyres are way marky and the route between thought I'd film just in case another one goes up first four let me jump out my skin the last one not so bad this is a tough path to follow as well See some tape on the ground and some tape on some trees. But it would be quite easy to lose the footpath here. Sign on the gate said there are animals loose in the orchard. There certainly are. I'm not feeding you. Go away, go away. Look you now. I don't like him. Clearly after a bit of food. But uh not my cup of tea. He's realised he ain't getting any food. Left me, left me to be. Crikey, they're all out today. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Go away. You know. <laughs> That's pretty went some home. That's the A2 flying overhead. It's been quite good really because haven't been close to many roads and it won't be long before back in woodland and away from this taking a break not covered as many miles as I've liked to today my usual spot, find a church on the map, and a nice bench to sit on. Sounds like I'm walking towards gunfire. Not sure if it's isolated, isolated shotguns or the old bird scarers. This one kind of fallen long ago. I wasn't sure if that was a creaking tree or a woodpecker. Probably a creaking tree swaying in the wind. The smell of these 
rotten fruit. This is Andy. I wondered how I was going to do my washing on the route. Alright, so a joke really in it. And this. There's Mr. Squirrel up there somewhere. I haven't seen another walker. One of those days, it's midweek, what is it? Tuesday. So, uh, no one about. It's lovely. I've just come up to a little place called Petit France, like a Charlton Hatch. And I'll be joining up the North Downs Way again. This is the Canterbury section though, the Northern Loop. walking through a lot of fields, a lot of orchards, a lot of um, a lot of fields with horses and various animals of some chickens, pigs, all sorts. It's really enjoyable. Big Bree Road. I should be following this road in a moment. It goes up to Big Bree Camp. I didn't bring any with me. I wasn't kind of expecting it. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Right, let me take your picture. Very. <laughs> this is part of the North Downs Way. You're welcome to wander through this old apple orchard. The large trees are around 60 years old and are mainly Bramley. New trees, including some unusual traditional Kentish varieties, are being planned in the gaps and where dwarf and where dwarf trees have been removed the site is being preserved and managed as an example of kent's farming and landscape history and also for its value in providing food and homes for many wild birds and animals so this is called no man's orchard which kind of applies it implies it belongs to all So, as its name implied, no man's orchard. It doesn't belong to anybody. It's a community orchard. It straddles two Paris boundaries. And as such, people are free to wander. And in April and May, all the trees will be blossoming. How marvellous. Says it can't compete. On a scale of with commercial orchards, but this style of orchard has almost disappeared from the Kent countryside, and Kent is very famous for its apples.
hollow of this tree nesting materials some fallen fruit catkins are out and I noticed over here <laughs> in all sorts today. I'm kind of glad that's just a <laughs> I come through here at night and not knowing what that was. The Blaine, Canterbury's ancient woodlands. This would have been Bigbury Camp. So according to the info board, lots of sweet chestnuts have been removed from this. This is a settlement over 2,000 years old from the 1st century BC and was reportedly the site of Julius Caesar's first battle in England. It's crazy to think that this 2,000 year old camp was hidden and only rediscovered in the 1870s. And it would appear the latest residents to move in to Bigbury Camp a woodpecker. This really bugs me. This, f I can't swear, this really, really annoys me. This lay-by is here. The lorries use the lay-by. They're on the way down to Dover. They're the ones that don't like to or pay the few quid to use a truck stop. They use these laybys and they throw their rubbish out of their windows into the bushes. And this is the bank next to that. You see, it's either side. There's a layby either side, and they don't, they don't give a shit. There's probably bottles of piss and all sorts amongst that stuff. Really, really needs to be clamped down on. They park everywhere, these lorries, in and around the roads up to Dover. Yeah, parked up, it's just so easy, isn't it? I'm not saying this particular lorry's done it, but it's just so easy just to chuck it out the window into the hedgerow and ruin the Kent countryside. Coming down into Canterbury now. The last little section of the North Downs Way. Perhaps another 20 minutes and I'll be finished for the day. Good 12 mile walk, probably 13 by the time I've finished. 